Hey everyone and welcome to the video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I first want to point out I apologize if you can hear my refrigerator uh, running here in the kitchen. He is training for a marathon. Okay, all jokes aside, we're going to do an experiment today with lemons to see if we can restore the date on dateless nickels because lemon has a very high uh, acidity. It has a pH of around 2 or 2 to 3. So in theory, it should work as acid to the restore the dates in these nickels. I already did a video uh, using a strong solution, which we had a great success with. So I'm going to do two separate things. So first of all, I'm going to take a couple different dateless buffalo nickels and we're going to put them right in the lemon itself and then another one we're going to squeeze the lemon juice into this bowl. So let me go ahead and show you the nickels we're working with today. I first of all, well I'll show you in a second, well, actually I'll pull it over now. I got my bin of dateless buffalo nickels here. So I have a few different ones I want to try. I want to try ones that are at different stages of wear. So here's the first one that we're going to put in the lemon. You can kind of barely see the bottom area of the date there. You can definitely tell the third digit is a two. I'm pretty sure by the way the last digit kind of slants there. I, I think that's a 1924, but it's really hard to tell. So that one shouldn't be hard to restore with like a normal acid solution. So that's a good candidate to try with the lemon because maybe the lemon can do the coins that aren't super worn. We'll see. Or maybe it can do all of them. So coin number two is going to be one where the date you can see some curves around the edges, but there's definitely no numbers there. So that's kind of, we'll call that like a phase, we'll call that phase one, phase two. And then there's going to be a phase three nickel, like this one here that is completely slicked out. No remnants of anything left near that date area. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to do this while I'm getting the other ones ready. We're going to actually see if this works. I had this idea. And I'm just going to make a slit, and we're just going to insert the nickel right into that slit there. So it's going to apply pressure. Ooh, I think this might work. So I'm going to do it again. A little bit right there. Pop it in. You gotta share the lemon jacuzzi. Last one, in we go. All right. So I'm gonna leave those in there probably till the end of the day and see if we've made any progress on those. All right. So let's leave that sit here. Now we're going to work on this one here. Let me show you the nickels we're working with. Here's sort of our phase one nickel, which you can see some of the edges of the date there. I'm, I've, I've looked at it really closely with the curves around the edges. I think that might be a 1919, but it's extremely hard to tell. Regardless, most the 90% plus of the date is slicked out on that. And then, oops, grabbed the wrong one there. This is kind of our phase two nickel, where the date's rubbed off, but there's still some detail on the coin. And then our phase three nickel, which is completely slicked out. So I'm gonna take those. We're just gonna put them into this dish. Like that right there. We're just going to cut open, Let's try to get it on camera here. I'm just going to squeeze it in. Oh, just shot some over the table. And I just shot it seed halfway across my room. I want to make sure they're covered, so we'll put a little bit more in there. All right, that should be plenty right there. Yep, they're completely covered over the date area. 
So I'm going to leave them as well. Now those, since it's not very thick and I can see the date areas, I'll keep an eye on them. You know, maybe every half an hour and see if we, if I can see anything as far as the date's concerned. But here it is. This is the start of our experiment. Now all it is is a waiting game. See if we can restore those dates. So stand by, and we'll see what happens. It's been about a half an hour now, and I don't see any results on the ones in the dish yet, which I wasn't expecting, but what I really wanted to show was I wanted to make sure the ones in the lemon were really taut, so there you go. I wrapped it with a rubber band to make sure there's a lot of pressure and they're really solid in there. So those nickels aren't going anywhere. So if this experiment's gonna work, I think I got it set up the right way. Just a quick update, it's the following morning. It's been 19 to 20 hours before I put them in. I checked the ones that are in the dish here, and I really haven't noticed much change at all yet. You can see when I kind of tilt the liquid away. It looks about the same as we put them in. And I'm not going to check these ones here quite yet. So I'm actually going to go do some metal detecting today. So I decided I'm going to leave them in there, and we're going to come back in probably another six to eight hours and see what happens. All right, so now it's time to take a look and see if there's any results. My metal detecting hunt was very good yesterday and I was beat, so I left this stuff overnight again and was working on videos earlier today. So everything here has been sitting for about 48 hours in the lemon now. I did take a quick glance at the ones in the dish and I really don't see that much of a change. So in a moment, I'll get them out and I will inspect the dates and see if there's it's any more defined. But let's go ahead and pop these out. Whoa. So the one that I stuck in the lemon, I think that might be a little bit more defined. I'm pretty certain that's 1924 now. I'll have to compare and do a before and after. You can see where the lemon juice at least cleans the coin and it gets like a more of a white kind of color. It loses some of the tarnish and the duller color. But we may have a little bit of a result on that one. Not as much as the acid, but maybe something. Number two. It didn't restore the date on that one. So it did, don't see too much of a change. So that's the question, does this make a slight difference? Maybe, and this is the one that was super worn. I don't, yeah, I didn't expect it to work on that one after seeing the first one. But those are the ones out of the lemon. So let me uh, get these off, get these out and rinse them off and we'll take a look at those. So I rinsed off the buffalo nickels that were in the dish of lemon juice and I've inspected the date areas and I don't see a significant change on these but I will say that if you are looking to clean some buffalo nickels and give them a really good shine this lemon juice did absolutely amazing now let me put out a disclaimer that don't do this to any nickels that have a significant value because when you clean them it will lessen the value but on coins that are common or you know, and don't have much value or are dateless, if you put them in the lemon juice, it makes them really shiny. Even the reverse that wasn't really in contact with the lemon juice quite as much, it really cleaned them off. I was surprised. It literally removed all the tarnish, but as far as the dates on these, it didn't have the same effect as using like a stronger acid but they did turn out looking pretty nice. You can see some of the reaction from down inside the lemon. There's sort of a bluish green color where the nickels were inserted. Quite interesting. So as a quick synopsis to the experiment, I checked the before and after photos of the 1924 nickel very carefully and I did see 
a bit of an improvement in the definition in the date area. Now, I think that is just because of how well the lemon juice cleaned the coin, not that it actually improved it as far as eating into it like previous experiments that I did with the acid. So that's my take on it. So what would I would say the takeaway is for you guys? Don't do this if you're trying to restore the date on the nickel. There is There are better methods to do that. One I showed in a previous video and one I'm gonna show in a future video. So only do this if you wanna clean your nickels. Make sure you do it on ones that have little to no value as it will decrease the value if it has any numismatic value. So apart from common date buffalo nickels and maybe worn ones that have a value of 50 cents or less, I wouldn't do this on, but it made them look pretty good. So thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.